team, meteorologist Damon Matson is here to talk about the forecast, and it's going to be a hot one. Did you say 90s? Well, potentially, but I know for you at least, it's you don't care about the warm temps. It's the mugginess, right? Yes. That's what's, as okay. long as I can get in the house with some AC every now and then, I'm good. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure a lot of people feel the same, and especially when we get these kind of temperatures, we need it. And uh, folks out there currently, well, we're just starting to get the sun to break out. Still a little bit of a cloudy view looking out toward the Potomac River and the Kennedy Center there. But as that sun does break out, we are noticing those temperatures responding accordingly. As you look down to the south and east from D.C. on into southern Maryland, there has been some sunshine over the last few hours, and that is all it has taken to get our temperatures to jump to 84 in the district, 86 in Waldorf, and when you go all the way down to Lexington Park, it is already up to 80. Eight degrees, so turning into a hot early afternoon in some locations where the clouds have been more persistent. It is slightly cooler 77 in Martinsburg and Winchester there, but no matter where you're located, with the exception of the mountains back across Western Maryland and West Virginia, not only do we have the hot temperatures, but we have plenty of moisture in the air. That mugginess is still a factor here, especially with it where these darker greens are at. There it is 60s, 70s indicating that much, much muggier air that is in place. And all of this is just the result of lingering frontal boundaries that continue to sit nearby. All the cloud cover we're seeing right now is the leftovers from a batch of decaying thunderstorms that were back over Ohio and Indiana last night. We're not seeing rainfall from that, but we are definitely seeing that cloud cover. And as we look down to the south and west, there's still more severe weather ongoing across portions of the Tennessee River Valley today. There is a storm system brewing over the Midwest that will eventually arrive here and bring the chance for some strong to severe storms tomorrow. But here in the meantime, folks, as we progress along into the middle of this afternoon, we are going to notice those temperatures jumping up, especially for some of our western locations that have been under that cloud cover today through the morning time. Well, that sun will break out and there it is by 3 p.m. We are talking about easily middle to upper 80s and for those already on the warmer side of things here at this hour, like D.C., Southern Maryland, down into parts of Virginia, we are have the chance anyway to hit 90 degrees once again. So that's the first thing we are contending with here, folks, is the fact that we are dealing with a decent amount of heat here today. Now, despite those rather hot temperatures, we are not expecting any sort of storm development today, possibly a spot shower or storm down to the south again, south of the district I-66 across Virginia and Southern Maryland. That's about it. But as we we roll into the night tonight. Some of those thunderstorms over Tennessee and Kentucky will push rainfall into the picture. Definitely cloud cover as well, but we could see some showers overnight during the early morning hours of your Thursday. Now that rainfall is not really our primary concern here. It's later as we get into the afternoon starting around lunchtime tomorrow. Storms will fire up off to the west and they will continue then to develop and cross through the DMV as we go through the afternoon and evening on your Thursday. And some of these storms right here in a favorable environment could turn strong to severe with large hail, damaging winds, heavy rainfall, all threats. So that being the case, the DMV first warn day is in place on your Thursday. This system will exit on Friday, and then we're looking at much cooler temps and slightly drier conditions over the upcoming weekend.